Over the past decade, more than 260 people have been killed in work zones, including drivers and workers. This summer, roadside workers are seeing more cars speed by, putting crews at risk. News 10's Rachel Law explains what construction workers are dealing with on a daily basis. When these workers go to work every day, they don't want to be thinking about whether or not they'll make it home that night. By slowing down and paying attention, you can help keep road workers safe. We're just really hammering down on this because we've seen an uptick and an alarming uptick at that. INDOT Public Relations Director Blake Dollier has been getting texts from roadside workers nearly every day. They all relate to the same thing, workers feeling frustrated by the lack of drivers moving over. Dollier is urging drivers to understand that these men and women have families that want to see them after their work is over. But when drivers are careless, that can change everything. Everybody's goal when they go to work every day is to come home the same way they left. I've got a wife and two small kids at home, and when people are moving over, I know that's a much better chance that I'm getting home to them. While INDOT can take as many precautionary measures as possible, drivers are also responsible for following the listed speed limit and being aware of their surroundings. When people are working on the side of the road, they don't want to be thinking about a speeding car running through their sights. Dollier emphasized how the work they are doing is primarily to benefit these drivers in the long run. We take all these steps. We have our attenuator trailers, our aero boards, everything like that possible to make sure that we keep our workers safe. But at the same time, you know, if somebody is disregarding those, that's not enough when you come into a work zone. And we've seen that unfortunately happen across the state at times, and we want to prevent that from happening everywhere. Next time you're driving by a construction site, make sure you are moving over and slowing down. Doing so could help save a life. In Terre Haute, Rachel Law, News 10.